Let's do a version of this painting showing fog. I'm going to start by putting in a sky. I'm going to use some ultramarine blue, a little bit of Payne's gray. And it might be hard to see in the painting, but I've got a little bit of violet in there. I'm going to take some quinacridone violet. Just put a hint in there. And let's just throw some strokes across here. There we go. We can see that. Just a little more violet. I'm going to leave a lot of white areas where the paper shows through. I'll take out some of them, but others I'm going to leave in there. That looks pretty good. I think I'll stay with that. So I'm taking clear water and I'm just kind of washing it down. Now I think as we get down towards the horizon, a lot of times uh, I like to put in a little bit of yellow ochre. So let's just put a little bit of yellow ochre in the bottom here. Okay, the sky is pretty dry right now, so let's put in some of these pine trees in the distance here. I'm going to start with some verticals. I'm going to take my mop brush, fan it out, just with a light touch, just kind of swing back and forth here. I want to get that a little darker. That's better. Some ultramarine blue and some sap green in, here, in this color. Okay, let's come over to this side. I'm going to try to speed this up as much as I can so we can get it in the time frame. Add a little yellow ochre here to it. Just for variety. Okay, let's take some clear water now. Rinse my brush out. Come in here and sweep across here. I want to make sure my brush is, has clean water in it so I don't drag the color up into the sky here. That looks pretty good. Let's, um, we're going to go dark now <clears throat> along the bottom of the tree line here. Got a little raw sand in here for some variety. This is what's fun is adding the other colors in here. Just, they really complement the painting. That's raw sienna. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to tip this a little steeper so the water will flow downward. Again, get my brush real clean here. Just 
trying to pick up some of this color that creeped up into the sky. Okay. Add a few more darks into these trees right here. Just want them to stand out a little bit more from this foggy area. Same over here, just darken the color a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to put some raw sienna in here, just for a variety. That looks pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop right now, dry this, and then we'll add a little bit of information in the foreground. While this was drying, I added a little bit darker paint down in this area. Uh, it was starting to dry, so you can see the texture here in the top of these bushes. and. Uh, while that was still wet, and while this tree over here was still wet, I splattered it with clear water. That gives you that texture you're seeing right here. And the more I look at this, uh, I know it's going to be different from the sample I'm showing you here, but I think I'm going to turn this into a winter scene. Um, it's getting close to that time of year again to, to paint some winter scenes. So let's do that. So I'm not going to put all these colors down in here. I'm going to keep it pretty neutral. I'm going to come in with some Payne's Gray. Just a hint of Payne's along with my Ultra. All right, let's just sweep across here with some colors. If you move it really quick and your brush isn't too loaded with water, you can get this nice dry brush effect. And where I want to calm it down, I can just take a little more paint, a little more water, and just get rid of some of it. It's like anything else, too much of a, a good thing is uh, it loses its impact. So that's kind of a basis for that right there. a little more blue in there with a touch of violet. Just do a little splatter in here just with a light blue color. Okay, I'm going to dry that and then we're going to put some trees in here. I'm going to have these trees start about here in the foreground. That way I can run shadows off of them. So let's just use this round brush sweep all the way up the page here. I'm going to switch brushes now. I'm going to go to this uh, dagger brush, which has very, very loose hairs on it. And the key is I hold the brush on the end. That way I, I kind of let the brush uh, do its own thing. I don't want to get in the way of the brush here. Just hold it on the tip and just, just use the bottom, the very end of the brush to get some nice effects in here.
Okay, I'm going to anchor these trees. I'll come with the dry first. I think what I'll do is I'll stay up here. Let's just kind of finesse some of these some of these limbs up and you get some more delicate ones in here. I think I'll let that dry a little bit. Let's just come over here and put some shorter ones. I don't want to balance it out by having equal sized trees on each side. But we can put a, a small small growth right in here. If I get most of the paint out of it, then I can get more delicate lines in here. Okay, that's all I need. Just a suggestion over there. I'm going to take some uh, ultramarine blue. Just a hint of Payne's gray with it so it's not too blue. What I do is I like to anchor these into the grounds. I like to uh, run the shadows off and while well, this is still wet. So let's just come in here. Same over here on this side. And let's just assume there's a big tree off to the side here that we can't see, but we know it's there only because of the shadow. And that gives us an opportunity to put some more branches in here. I'm just going to take and just splatter a little bit of color in there. A little bit fine splatter. I could spend more time finessing these trees a little bit, getting more delicate, but uh, the point I'm trying to get across is how to include fog into your paintings. And it's a great way to do it. And of course, i got to put some birds in. See if I can do this without uh, smearing what's wet here. Birds are fun to do. It's, it's uh, Get most of the paint out of your brush. It's a horizontal stroke, and then go up. A horizontal stroke and go down for the wings. The important thing is to stagger your, your birds. Don't have them all equally spaced. The tendency is to organize everything and uh, we don't want that. We want a much more random pattern. And so we had the shadows coming this way which means there's light would be hitting the right side of these trees here. So let's just take a flat brush Let's just pull a little lightness off the, on the side of these trees here. Just loosen up the paint with a flat brush. You can use a small round brush too. And just gently tap it. We don't want to do the whole thing, just, just a suggestion of it. Here and there are a few spots. Again, I'll do it right here on this other tree. And that's all we really need to do. And that's it. Thanks for watching.